Oh my gosh, well I am so stinking excited. My name is Auburn Stanley. I'm a pink Cadillac sales director in Athens, Tennessee. It's a little bitty town in between Knoxville and Chattanooga. Super small little bitty town um, in Tennessee. But I'm coming to you today to share with you a little bit about my story, um, where I've been, where I'm going, and why I am a part of this amazing, amazing, amazing company. So just like anybody else, I think um, everybody's like, well, Mary Kay's for mammals, right? Because my mammal wore it and her mammal wore it. And I think her mammal wore it. I don't know. I wasn't alive, but I think they, I think she did. Um, and that's just, all. that's always been like the talk when people say, have you tried Mary Kay? Well, no, my grandma uses Mary Kay. And you know what? This is not grandma. <laughs> this is not for grandmas. But anyways, let's, let's uh, rewind back to the beginning. So, uh, my mother-in-law, um, love her so much, so, so, so much. Here she is. Okay. So, um, she saw a pink Cadillac at, um, Walmart and she had been out of mascara. So she ran up to the Cadillac and she's like, I need a mascara. Um, so bad. And Nikki, the girl that was driving the pink Cadillac, she said, Oh my gosh, I'll totally, br I'll totally bring it to you. Come Monday night, come be my face model. And, um, I'll give it to you there. And so my mother-in-law comes back, um, goes back home and calls me and she's like, Hey, uh, we're going to this thing on Monday night. I need a mascara. She invited me. I'm not going by myself. I'm like, okay, <laughs> so excited. So we get there and we walk in and if you've ever been to a Mary Kay event, then you know what I'm talking about. But everyone's so excited and so happy and uh, everyone's laughing and having a good old time and, and they're hugging you on your way in and um, oh my gosh, you're like, what is this? And truthfully, this is what I thought. I thought that I was going to go sit down and you know, have you ever seen that show Candid Camera? Make a big smile and wave right there because you're on Candid Camera. Oh. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I thought that I was going to sit down and that guy was going to come out and he was going to be like, congratulations, you didn't blow up. You let all these ladies love on you and touch you and tell you how awesome you are. And um, you won the grand prize. You're on grand, candid camera. That's what I thought, I swear. Um, but it wasn't. I sat down and um, everyone was having like such a great time. And you know, one of the things that um, they did at the beginning is they said, Okay, well, before we start, we're going to open this up in prayer. So I want everybody to stand up and join hands. And oh my gosh, that like rocked my world because um, at the time I was 19 years old. So um, just imagine I was 19 years old. I was a newlywed. I had a three-year-old and a three-month-old and um, did not have a relationship with the Lord. Not that I didn't believe that there was. I don't know. I was such a, at such a bad point in my life. Um, my grandma was, had just passed away um, from pancreatic cancer. And, um, she, you know, she was my best friend. She was, she was everything to me. And a lot of things had just happened in my life. Oh, I, I hope you're dancing in the sky. I hope you're singing. I'm 24 now and um, have an eight-year-old, a beautiful um, eight-year-old. She um, just turned eight in December. And then I have um, a handsome little five-year-old. Um, yeah, I was young. So add that up. I was 16. So a lot of life thing ha things had happened in my life um, where, you know, we didn't grow up in going to church. We didn't, um, I didn't have all the things in my life going the way that they're supposed to go, right? So I didn't have that relationship with the Lord. And so when she said, okay, we're going to open up in prayer and I want you to join hands and I want you just to bow your head with us. That rocked my world. Not in a good way. I was like, where am I? Get me out of this place. So she's praying and I'm looking down at the tray the whole time. And if you've ever um, had a Mary Kay facial before, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. And um, so I'm like, okay, what is all this stuff? You know, while she's praying, I'm just ignoring it. What is all this stuff? And what am I going to do? And blah, blah, blah. And so she's like, amen. And I'm like, oh gosh. Thank you. I'm so glad that's over. Okay. 
So we sit down, sit down, and mind you, I was the makeup pro um, five years ago when I joined Mary Kay. Not really. I wore bare minerals. You know what that is? And then I wore um, lots of chapstick, lots of chapstick. And then I wore that green and pink tube of mascara. Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh huh. Yeah. Right from Walgreens, or you could sometimes get it at Dollar General. Really? I think they might still have it. Oh my word! Yes, here it is. So I was not the makeup pro, but I thought I was. And this is what they did. Okay, so Nikki, this cute little blonde that drives pink Cadillac that invited us to this meeting, she says, okay, we'll take your cloths and we're gonna wipe our faces, faces off. No, no, this chick was not, okay? As a 19 year old, so self-conscious, so not loving myself, I was not taking my makeup off in front of all these people, even though it was only a little bit of bare mineral mascara. So, um, I literally did everything on top of what I had. So I'm putting foundation on top of my foundation. I'm putting eyeshadow on top of my already caked on. You know, when you use that stuff, you cake that mascara on. And then I'm putting mascara on top and I'm putting lipstick on top. And so you can only imagine what I looked like when I left that place. What you know about me? What you what you know about me? What you know about me? What you what you know? Ooh, my lip gloss is cool. My lip gloss be popping. I'm sitting in my locker and all the boys keep stopping. But the whole time thinking, I'm like, you know, and I don't know if you've ever been to a success night where they do recognition, where they do, um, where consultants come up and they get rewarded for just working their Mary Kay businesses, but it was absolutely incredible to me. I worked two jobs at the time, probably close to 70 or 80 hours a week. As a medical assistant, I was waiting tables. I was a newlywed. I had a three-year-old. I had a three-month-old. I was in college full-time for dental hygiene. My life was chaotic, but I also knew that I was not making anywhere close to the money these women were making. They were coming up, um, you know, working full full time jobs, but also working Mary Kay and making two hundred and three hundred dollars a week, and getting to wear these fancy little crowns and sashes and and earning cars. I'm like, are you kidding me? Um, before Mary Kay, I didn't know that eighty percent of the car drivers in this company still work a full time job. Like, shut the front door. So we left and me and my mother-in-law went to dinner and she's like, I remember vaguely, and she's like, you should do Mary Kay. And I'm like, oh, you should do Mary Kay. And it's, you know, I think it was a back and forth thing. And she's like, oh, I'm going to do it because she'd done Mary Kay before and she wanted the discount. Hello, 50% off the products for the rest of your life. Who wouldn't? So she's like, I'm going to do Mary Kay and I think you should too. And so, but what she didn't know, I think she did know, but what we didn't like telling people is that five years ago, we were broke, 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 broke. We were broke, busted, and disgusted. I don't know if you know what that is, but it's like far down broke, okay? And I didn't have the money to buy the starter kit. I didn't. So this is what happened. On December 17th, uh, my mother-in-law bought my starter kit for me, and December 17th is also my daughter's birthday. So December 17th of 2012, um, which was my daughter's third birthday. Yeah, I think so. Third or fourth. I can't. Yeah, third birthday. <laughs> um, I, my starter kit was ordered and it was my uh, Christmas present. And oh my gosh, I'm so thankful and so grateful for her to this day. Like my life could be like, I don't even know. I don't even know what my life would be. So this is what happened, right? I get this bag in the mail and um, my mother-in-law brings it over and she's like, here's your bag. You're ready to do Mary Kay, right? And so um, I really just um, worked my business very, very hobby, very part-time. But December 2012 is when I got my starter kit. Well, January came around, then February and March. And three months later in March, it was, it was actually the, the end of February, I came home from my jobs and I was like, guess what, honey, to my husband, I'm so excited. Guess what I did today? And he's like, what did you do today? And I said, I quit both my jobs. I'm going to do Mary Kay. You can only imagine the look on his face. Um, but I was so excited. I was so excited to be able to stay home with my kids, to be able to be the stay-at-home mom and be the stay-at-home wife and still make that income but you know not miss out on anything because with Zoe my oldest you know I was working most of her life you know most of her little life until she was about three and a, three almost three and a half and so I had a newborn he was only six months old and I was experiencing things and seeing things that I'd never seen before so 
for about a year um, after my husband almost divorced me he did it we're still together um, he still loves me so I did that for about a year um, just worked it very 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 hobby hours you know two or three hours a week um, very very minimal You know, I was being, I was able to be that stay-at-home mom, working very minimal, but also I was supplementing my income. So I was making an extra 600, 800, sometimes a thousand dollars a month, working three, three hours a week, and that was great to me. That was what I was making, working 70 hours a week as a medical assistant, waiting tables, and then not even being able to come home and see my kids. So um, I did that for a good year. Well, January of 2014 rolls around. So this is about um, a year and a couple months after I started my business, about a year and a half. And I decided that I was going to go to this um, event called January Jumpstart. And you don't have to go to these events as a consultant, but I wanted to go because guess what? I sat down with my husband and I told him, I was like, okay, I'm going to make a move. I'm going to um, prove this company wrong. That's what I said. I'm going to prove Mary Kay wrong. So I'm going to go to January Jumpstart. I'm going to get all fed. I'm going to come home excited. And then I'm going to give it six months. And that's what I told him. And that's what I told everybody. I'm going to give it six months. And in six months when this doesn't work and when I don't make any more money, and when this is all a lie and I find it all out and I write it all down on paper, I'm going to, um, I'm going to quit and I'm going to go back to work. And so six months rolls around and guess what? I did not get to prove the company wrong. The company actually proved me wrong. Six months later, I was rolling in as a brand new sales director, which is the top 2% um, in Mary Kay. And then two months later, I earned my first free car, which was a Chevy Cruze. Let me tell you, was I so, so wrong? Was I so, so wrong? Um, here's us picking up our first free car. We were so excited that day. Oh my gosh, I remember my kids saying, is it really ours? Do we really get to take it home? And then we earned the uh, next free car, which was about six months later, the Chevy Equinox. And we never picked that up because a, um, I think it was a couple weeks later, maybe a month later, we ended up picking up the BMW. We earned our BMW. It was a BMW 320i. Oh, it was so nice. Here's us picking it up too. Oh my gosh. We loved that car. My husband loved that car. It had a sport mode in it. Um, Y'all, pretty cool. But you know what? My favorite day of all was finishing up our prestigious pink Cadillac, which is what we drive now as a family. And I just remember, um, this is the things that I do remember. I don't remember um, negative Nancy's. I don't remember people telling me no. I don't remember the struggles I had. I don't remember the $100 that I had to borrow from my mother-in-law. I don't remember all the hard times in that moment when we earned that pink Cadillac. What I do remember is that my husband, that's not a very emotional person, looked at me and he said, honey, I'm so proud of you. And he had never said that to me before in my business and that rocked my world. And Zoe, um, my eight year old, she was seven at the time, tears came to her eyes when I said, Zoe, guess what? And she said, what? And I said, we earned the pink Cadillac. And I promise you, her eyes just welted and tears came to him and it makes me wanna cry now. Um, and she said, really? I mean, she was so excited. That's the moments they remember. They don't remember me going going and leaving for appointments and, um, you know, not being able to tuck them in every night. They don't remember that. And Bentley, I remember he said, we did. And he looked out the window at the blinds and he said, why is it not in our driveway? It was the best feeling ever. And um, here are some pictures from me. I'm so excited because if I would have thought five years ago that I was going to earn a free car in this company, I would have laughed in your face, okay? And in Mary Kay, when you earn a free car, a lot of people ask me this question. Well, do you get to keep it? And the answer is yes. You drive it around for two years, completely payment free. The company pays for this car for you. Now, what happens after that two-year period? Well, guess what? You get a brand new one. Mary Kay doesn't want you driving around old beat-up cars. <laughs> so after a two-year period, you get a brand new one. It's the newest year model. 
and the company pays that payment as well. They pay for your oil changes, your tire rotations, your tax, your title, all of that fancy stuff. I don't even know how to do it, right? Because they pay for it. They pay for a large portion, almost all of my insurance for me and my spouse, my hubby. And um, it's just absolutely incredible. And like I said earlier, you know, 80% of the women in this business, um, they drive a free car and they still work a full-time job. Driving a free car in Mary Kay does not mean you have to work Mary Kay 50 and 60 and 70 hours a week. It doesn't at all. It's very, very part-time, which is really exciting. Let me tell you, this business um, can absolutely change your world and change your life. You know, the rest is history. I tell people all the time, the cars are great. The money is fabulous. Um, my highest check for one month has been $11,180. Y'all, I don't even think I made that in one year at my other jobs. I don't. Um, the money's been great. The cars have been awesome. The jewelry has been amazing. I've earned over six carats and diamonds just for doing my job. But my biggest takeaway from this company is that um, the friendships that I've gained is um, the lives that I've changed. Oh my gosh, the people rising, the people becoming and doing what I'm doing so that they can change their families' lives. But number one is that Jesus came out of my starter kit, out of that $100 bag that my mother-in-law bought for me. How um, did I ever, how would I have ever known? I would have never known that um, this company could give me the Lord and a relationship with the Lord and with my family. And um, just knowing that my kids um, will grow up knowing who their savior is. That's my biggest takeaway. That is why I love this business. That is why I stay. I'm going to give you six reasons why you would want to join Mary Kay or why you would want to stay. The first reason is money. I don't know anybody that has too much money. If you do, let me know their name and number. I'll be their best friend. <laughs> but really, what other company other than Mary Kay in the United States is there no glass ceiling where you can determine what your income is going to be, what you can determine what your hours are going to be, what you can determine, you can literally determine your life, okay, and how much money you want to make. Another reason why women join is for rent recognition. And what other company um, do you get recognized for just doing your job? Do you get to go to work and be recognized for selling so much product in the week and get to wear a crown and a sash and then they hand you over um, car keys? I don't think so, okay? That's one of my the, the biggest thrills in my, in my business, in my Mary Kay business, is that just by doing the work, just by seeing the faces, just by changing the lives, I get rewarded and recognized for it. Like, incredible okay another reason why women join is for self-confidence and personal growth you know five years ago people totally do not believe me but five years ago I was so shy I remember right after I joined it was one of the first meetings I'd ever I ever went to Nikki my sales director the one that recruited me she said um, everybody come up to the front and tell us why you gave Mary Kay a try and I just remember standing in front of the room talking but nothing coming out and Nikki all the way in the back of the room she says Ari, speak up. We can't hear you. And I'm like, you know, and I know my face turned so red and I was so embarrassed. Um, but five years ago, I didn't have any self-confidence. I didn't love myself. I didn't care about myself. Um, so personal growth and self-esteem definitely comes with this business. I tell women, if you never sell anything and you join this bit, you, this company and you have your own business and literally you do not sell a dime, but you come to everything and you show up and you hang out with me, you will be a different person a year from now. And I can promise you that. Another reason women join is for cars. Obviously, there's four different cars you can earn in Mary Kay. The Chevy Cruze, the Chevy Equinox, um, there is a Ford Fusion. They're beautiful. They're like this sleek gray color. And then obviously the pink Cadillac. Now, if you don't want to take the car, you can definitely take a car payment or a car um, compensation payment as, as well. So like for the Chevy Cruze, if you don't want to take the Chevy Cruze, the company will pay you $375 a month. The Ford Fusion or the Chevy Equinox, $500 a month. And the pink Cadillac, $900 a month. That's what they would pay you instead. I don't know who wouldn't take the car um, unless you have like this dream car on the back burner that you've always thought about and wanted. But driving a Mary Kay car is absolutely incredible. Another reason why women um, give Mary Kay a try is for advantages. Y'all, who can 
can get excited about tax advantages, okay? There's no territories, there's no quotas. So I live in Tennessee, I can sell to anybody in the United States and I'm not penalized. Tomorrow, if my husband took a job somewhere and we had to move, I wouldn't lose my job, right? There's no territories, I can sell to anybody, I can move anywhere. And then there's no quotas. There's no one telling me, Aubrey, if you don't see 25 faces this month, you're gonna get like knocked out of the club. Aubrey, if you don't sell, if you don't do, if you don't have, it's not like that in Mary Kay. You, it, that's the great thing. You advance at your own pace. You do at your own level. You know, I mean, obviously the more you do, the faster you'll move up, but nobody's telling you you have to. And then the last reason is for flexibility and being your own boss. I mean, who wouldn't? I won't tell anybody, but don't you think you'd be a way better boss than the boss you have now? I mean, come on now, come on now. You would have like bomb vacations and like, like it would be incredible, right? I love being my own boss. I love it. I'm able to um, go to my, my, my little Zoe's uh, field trips. I'm able to um, take them both to school in the morning and pick them up. Bentley gets out of school early. Um, so I get to pick him up early. I don't have to ask my boss if I can do that. If my husband's off and he wants to just go get out of town, we can go do that. I can take vacations whenever I want to. I can take sick days whenever I want to. I'm able to create a life and a schedule that I love and that works for me. So that's some of the reasons why women give Mary Kay a try. And I'm going to give you a couple reasons why um, women don't decide to give it a try because I don't want, I know that you listening to my voice right now and, and watching me, I know that you um, have all these things running through your head, um, talking about, um, or, or just thinking about um, maybe why you can't give it a try because there are a couple things that hold women back. So let me pull it up really quick. The first one, um, it's going to be time, right? That's the first thing that's holding you back. I want you to know, we all have the same amount of time. 168 hours. Can you even believe that? We all have 168 hours a week in our life. If you're human, you have 168 hours a week. It's 24 hours a day, okay? And let's say you sleep 56 hours a week, which is eight hours a night. If you sleep eight hours a night, oh! let's be best friends because I like would love to sleep eight hours a night. I would wake up feeling like oh, and rejuvenated, right? So let's say you work a full-time job, which most of us do, okay? The majority of the society works a full-time job, which is 40 hours a week, okay? I just want you to know out of that 168 hours, when you sleep eight hours a night, bless you if you do, and then you work 40 hours a week, you still have 72 hours left over at the end of your week. What are you doing with those 72 hours? Some of you will say, I work another full-time job, and you know what? God bless you because I've been there and I know where you're at. And guess what? You still have 32 hours left over, working two full-time jobs, sleeping eight hours a night, and um, yeah, you still have 32 hours left over. Get excited about that. What are you doing with your 32 hours? Are you spending time with family? Are you going to church? You're still gonna have hours left over. Could you find two or three hours a week? Do, I mean, would $100, $200 a week help you? That's what I did, it helped me. So that's the one thing. Um, in your three to six hours, are you doing right now what's taking you closer to your goals and dreams? Most of us can say no. No, I'm not. I'm watching Grey's Anatomy or, I'm, you know, whatever. You're not doing things that's taking you closer to your goals and dreams, you know? Let's change that. Number two is money. A lot of women get held back by money. Ah, so scary. Money, 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 money. You know, the only investment that you have to make is the starter kit. I want you to know that you now, they've revamped this starter kit. It's absolutely incredible. I'll show you here. $400 in products in it, but who even cares about that? Oh my gosh. It's a hundred dollars to start your business. How many times, I just want to run you through this really quick. Do y'all know what Target is? God bless you if you don't, okay? So I'm walking through Target with my grocery cart. And mind you, the only reason I come to Target is because I need dog food, okay? Dog food, it's the only thing on my list. And so I get in Target and I'm pushing my cart and you walk in and the first thing you see is that dollar section, right? Ugh! 
right? It breaks the bank every time. So you walk through the dollar section and you start throwing stuff in your cart. And then you're like, I got to get out of here. And you get out of there. And the next section is the bags. They put the bags right beside the dollar section. So you stop at the bags, right? And then the next section is the kids clothes. And you're like, well, crap, I got to look in there. Those That looks cute, right? And so you get down in the kids section and you're like, man, I've been in here for two hours. I've got to check out. And you get to the register and you ri they ring you up and they tell you your total. $128.17. And you look at the cashier and you're like, okay. And you hand her your money and you push your buggy out to the car and you finish loading your car and you get in the driver's side seat and you buckle your seatbelt and you sit down and you're like, crap, I forgot dog food every single time, right? So this $128 trip to Target of who knows what, God only knows what you've got in your trunk that completely did not change your life. If it changed yours, let me know, but it totally didn't mine. So this $100 starter kit is an absolute way for you to invest in yourself, invest in a small business and change your life seriously, okay? That's the only investment. It's a target decision, y'all. And then the third thing is fear. Fear is false evidence appearing real. You can't have faith and fear both together. It does not match, okay? The one thing that's great about Mary Kay is we sell an oil-free eye makeup remover. And guess what? It comes in your starter kit too. An oil-free eye makeup remover, as soon as you shake it up, it activates. And you put it on a cotton swab and then you wipe it off, okay? We're not heart surgeons. We are not doctors. If we cut into somebody and cut the wrong thing, we are definitely gonna be fired. We're gonna mess up. It's gonna be bad. But in Mary Kay, this is the thing. If you make somebody have a black eye, you can always take that oil for Amica remover. You can shake it up to activate it. You can put it on a cotton pad and you can wipe it off and start over. That's the great thing. How will you ever know if you don't give it a try, right? And then the fourth thing is procrastination. How many times do we say, oh my gosh, I'll do it in six months when my kids start school again, in six months when summer starts, in three months because you know what, this job, and in four months because my boss is having me, and two months because I'm finishing school, and I'll do it next year because this is happening, and y'all, procrastination, according to the Boston Globe, is the number one cause of failure. So you telling yourself, I'll do it, I'll do it then, I'll do it then, I'll do it then, you're failing yourself. Do not procrastinate, start now. What's holding you back? We would love to welcome you to the pink bubble. Thanks for watching.